To many foreigners, Seoul can simply be seen as the capital of South Korea. But through Korean eyes, it's a rapidly changing city where the old and new coexist. A great example is where I'm standing right now. You'll see the Gyeongbokgung Palace behind me, but what I'm seeing is a street filled with skyscrapers, including our Yeonam New headquarters. And if you've watched Squid Games, you might have caught this dramatic contrast to Gihun's neighborhood as well. So today, why don't we explore that very filming location and touch on some cultural aspects along the way? Then, let's go! I'm sure you've heard enough about this neighborhood from Ki Hoon almost religiously introducing it to everyone he met. You guessed it, this neighborhood is called Sangmundong. And it's an actual neighborhood on the northern outskirts of Seoul. As you can see, this neighborhood may not be one of those modern neighborhoods with high-rise apartments, but these older forms of Korean alleyways really bring back those nostalgic memories to many Koreans. And as a matter of fact, I heard that Squid Game's creator also grew up here. And a lot of the scenes in the second episode were shot in this neighborhood. Because of this vintage vibe, many productions actually choose this neighborhood as their backdrop, such as Reply 1988. We called them the Sangwondong Squad, remember? That goes in line with the recent retro trend in Korea. I think I see that convenience store that came out in Squid Game right now. Let's go and try their soju and ramen. Ooh, you can see posters already up here. Squid Game filming location. This is the spot, people. Ah, this is not going to be dead. 잠깐! So this is probably the easiest snack to make. Break the noodles into the packet. Take it, take it. Take it, take it. And it's ready. Let's try it. Mmm. It's actually much better than I expected. Kind of salty and a bit spicy at the same time. But I think it's for like broke students. <laughs> if they really have nothing else to eat. In Squid Game, it came out as if it was a normal snack in Korea. But eating raw ramen noodles with soju actually is very uncommon. Usually people drink soju at pojang matcha, the Korean tent bars. In convenience stores, people usually drink beer with just lighter snacks. So if I see someone drinking soju at a convenience store, it's like, man. That guy must have had a really tough day. Speaking of Ki Hoon having a hard day, creator Hwang Dong Yeok revealed that Ki Hoon's backstory, the flashbacks that he had, getting beaten up, remember? And he went to Dragon Motors. That was actually based on a true story, which was the 2009 Sangyong Motor strike. Now that you've seen the Sangmundong neighborhood, let's go to Sangwoo's mother's fish stall, which is also just a few minutes away from here. So I think the fish stall is somewhere around here. Maybe it's that alleyway? Hmm. Oh yeah, I think it should be somewhere here. It looks like a traditional market and I heard the fish stall was in Baegun traditional market. You can see a lot of these types of traditional markets in Korean films and dramas and they're portrayed as lively areas. But in real life, Koreans don't come here that often. They usually shop in larger supermarkets or just place orders online. This is a very cozy little street market. Coming here, it does feel like the scene that came out in Squid Game. 안녕하세요, 선생님. 안녕하세요. 여기가 오징어 게임 촬영한 데 맞나요? 동네 분들은 처음에 이제 개봉 되고 바로 관심들을 많이 보이셨고 요즘은 중국인들하고 일본인들이 많이 오셔. 평소는 그냥 이 동네 분들이 많이 오고요. 실제적으로 이제 여기 그 여기 드라마 여기 나오시는 그 아주머니가 쌍둥이 살고 계셔요. 주인분. 아 
아드님이 서울대를 네네네네네. 네, 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 네. 옛날 말 저, 저 비유를 하자면 개천에서 용난 거죠, 뭐 진짜로. 저도 이제 생산 가게를 하면서 진짜 힘들고 재기를 하지만 자기가 여태까지 했는 걸그 고생한 거를 보상받는 느낌이랄까 보람이죠, 사람 보람이죠. 아주 옛날에는 여보다 더 번창을 하고 번성했대요. 이제 여기 지금 같은 경우는 교통이 좋아지면서 이제 외부를 많이 빠지는데 큰 시장은 아니지만 이게 그냥 골목 시장이에요, 골목 시장인데 이번에. 이 오징어 게임도 외부인들이 많이 오가니까 좀 관심도 들어오고 이렇게 해요. 손님은 엄청 많은데요. <웃음> 매출하고 연결이 안 돼요. 지원을 좀 해주세요. <웃음> 강아지 산책시키다가 아 지나갔어요. 매체에서 뭐 여기 뭐죠? 편의점이랑 뭐 많이 온다는 얘기는 들었어요. 아, 시장이에요. 솔직히 요즘에 잘안 가죠. 왜냐면 마트나 이런 쪽을 이용하지. 시장은 명절 때? 근데, 근데 이제 재래시장은 또 재래시장만의 또 특징이 있는 것 같아요. 물건 흥장할 수도 있고 또 고기만 잘 파는 또 그런 인기 있는 품목들도 있잖아요. 서울대 가면 어 그렇게 많이는 안 가잖아요. 그 지역별로 지역별 특히 이 지역에서는 뭐 한두 명 그렇게 들어가니까 엄청 주목받죠. <웃음> Now you know why Ki Hoon was so obsessed with Sangu's Seoul National University degree. Going into Seoul National University, which is considered the Harvard of Korea, is of course a very, very big deal. And you can also understand the pressure he would have had on his shoulders when the whole town was looking up to him. Anyways, it's uh, passing lunchtime now, and I'm getting hungry, so let's go to our next location. I'm on my way to eat our lunch boxes right now and I just remembered another scene foreigners may not have quite caught which was the scene with Jiyoung and Sebyeok before they played their marbles game. Jiyoung asked Sebyeok, don't you know that line? Let's have a drink of Maldives and mojito and Sebyeok's like, huh? And probably you were also clueless if you haven't watched the film Inside Men, it's a 2015 film where Lee byung comes out as the main lead. Lee byung was the front man or the black mask guy. And for Koreans, that line is a very familiar line, so we knew right away. Maybe there was some foreshadowing there. There's no better way to end this video than trying the lunch boxes that the players got in Squid Game. These aluminum yellow lunch boxes. I personally haven't use these boxes when I went to school, but my parents' generation definitely have. Hello! In these lunch boxes, there's kimchi, fried egg, and ham. It may seem very simple, but it's actually pretty nutritious. Mm, I didn't have these lunch boxes, but the taste feels like I went back to school. <laughs> because the ingredients didn't change that much. We also had kimchi and ham and fried egg when I went to school. In the show, ki Hoon says, oh, I wish there was a stove in the middle. And that's true because back in the days at school, children had stoves in the back of their classroom. So they would come, set their lunch boxes on the stove during their class and then have it warm. So you can see why he said that line. Nowadays, it's really hard to find these yellow lunch boxes and they're usually sold in cafes like these or in barbecue places. So now we call it the old school lunch box. The 추억의 옛날 도시락. Then I hope you guys enjoyed walking around Sangmundong with some cultural insights if you haven't known them already. Leave any other questions you had on Squid Game in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! 저는 참가자예요. 무슨 어 네모시군요 네모. 네. 아안 돼요 살려주세요. <웃음>